Hello everybody, Louis here. Let's talk C-sharp. Today, we're going to take a deeper look at properties and a few different ways to work with them. So far, this is how we've defined properties. We start with the access modifier, public, and then data type, property name, and finally get and set. Now, this is the easiest way to define properties and lucky for us, most times, that's all we need. These are called auto-implemented properties. Unfortunately, there are situations where auto-implemented properties are not enough. For example, let's say we want to add a new property here, age. We know that age should change from time to time, so we might want to go with a new approach. Instead of manually setting a value for age every time, we can actually set up a property to calculate it for us automatically. Pretty neat, right? The syntax is similar. Let's take a look at the differences. Public, int, age. So far so good, right? Now, here's where the difference is. Instead of doing what I was doing before, I'll go get, curly bracket. Let's take a quick break here. We still have the get keyword, much like before. However, this time, we have an extra pair of curly brackets. That means we open a new scope, and now, we can write whatever code we need to return an automatically calculated value for age. So what I'll do here is, I'll go ahead and write the code that I need to calculate someone's age based on their birth date. Int age, that's what I'm looking for, dates time dot now dot year minus this dot date of birth dot year. Now, if datetime.now.day of year less than this dot date of birth dot day of year, then age minus minus, and then return age. Okay, what am I doing here? First, I'm creating a new local variable to help me calculate age. Then, I just have to do the math. This is not a math class, so we don't have to waste time on the details, but in order to calculate someone's age, we need the year we're in and the year of birth. Datestime.now is a tool that we can use to retrieve the local time where the application is running. That is going to give me a datetime object which has a year property. That's an integer that contains only the year portion that I need for my calculations. Likewise, day of year is also a property that date time objects have that come in handy in a lot of situations. It returns an integer number, meaning, well, the day of the year. In case you don't know what that is, here's an example. February 1st is the day of the year number 32. The first 31 days of the year are in January, and then, after that, is February 1st, which is the 32nd day of the year. Seriously though, if you have issues figuring out how to calculate someone's age based on their birth date, take a quick break from this and go figure that out. After all, engineers are supposed and actually expected to be good at math. Alright, great, we have an auto-calculated property. Does that work? Let's test it. All I have to do is go back to my program class and say console.writeLine me dot age and if I run this there it is 36 I actually am 36 good now you may be asking yourself wait but how about the set I remember there was a set before don't I have to define that set and the answer is no uh, C sharp is a very flexible language you don't always have to define a setter sometimes it just doesn't make sense for example, in automatically calculated properties. Auto-calculated properties are awesome and they're so helpful in many situations. But there is one more property type to look at. In the next video, we'll look at fully implemented properties. I'll see you there.